Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. We're returning to the world of the Dark Crystal for more of the play our playthrough of the 1983 adventure game by Sierra. Let's get it up. There we go, so you should be able to see that now. That's where we currently are. Appropriately, the um, uh, the current screen we're on and the backdrop I created uh, before we started our playthrough uh, are, are in good synergy at the moment because we are at an entrance to the castle of the crystal. We fall into the ravine um, at its base and we're currently faced with, um, well, depending on how this is actually works in game terms, one or two of these gates that look like faces. I think they're kind of like uh, refuse chutes in the film from what I recall. Um, but here it's more of a, a barred gate. Um, so we've got we've got Jen, we've got Kira, we've got Fizzgig, we've got some items in an inventory, a piece of shale, several small pebbles, a sling, a pouch, a blue crystal shard, a strange looking flute. There we go, and uh, and that's what we've got. And uh, yeah, I kind of got to. Uh, we had a really lovely session last time, where we. Um, mapped uh, a lot of space out. We solved quite a few things uh, off the cuff. Um, they seem quite straightforward uh, but then we're presented with this and I um, uh, kind of ground to a halt at this point. I'll, um, I do have a, uh, a map document running that I will um, pop out when it's necessary but I'm sure we'll once we get inside, work out how to get inside the castle, we'll need to map some more stuff. Um, so I've got that prepared, and that will appear on screen um, when we need to use it. Um, also on screen, uh, chat will appear as well if there are any chat messages. Um, please uh, feel free to say hello. And if you, like me, this is your first time with the game, but you have uh, some ideas you'd like to throw my way um, about what we should do next, then, then please do chip in because. Um, I think it's a, a lot of fun to uh, play a an adventure game uh, collaboratively, um, and with our collective uh, our collective nous, I'm sure we'd be able to solve uh, these mysterious puzzles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by refreshing myself with the situation by getting the detailed description of where we are. Jen, Kira, and Fizzgig are at the bottom of a ravine that surrounds the castle. The ravine curves to the east and west before them carved into the rock is a stone face. If we look at the face we get this description. The teeth of the stone monster are actually the metal bars of a gate. Just out of reach behind the bars is a closed door. Um, try to type look bars, do I get anything different? No, so it goes on about the teeth again. Um, can I break the bars? I may have tried this. When they've awkward with Jen want to do such a thing, or to get past them. Um, can I open the bars? It is locked. Can I pick lock? You can't do that here. Okay. Can I dig out the bars? We can only use um, two uh, two word phrases. Uh, with this password to face. Eastern Shale, Jen digs in the ground for a while but finds nothing. Uh, so that's what we did to find our flute earlier. That reminds me. What if we play our flute? We, get, we issue a strange two toned chord and the blue shard begins to glow uh, and sounds the same chord back. Okay, cool. Um, so we can go, basically I was trying to work out how we map this area, but I think it's just two screens. So we're at the, um, there's a north one and a south one, I think. Yeah, with exactly the same descriptions and graphics, which is a little confusing, but if we're trying to go north. Yes, yeah, so if we try and go north here, then that's where the, um, the door is, and it says it is locked. And south, we just can't go in that direction. But if we go to the other screen and go south, 
it's locked. Yeah, so the, this is the same thing on either side of the castle, um, north south, by the looks of it. Um, can we? It's got a face, so and a mouth. Can we talk uh, to the face? Jen receives no response. Oh, can we talk to Kira? Has Kira got a hint for us? Oh, they're using a girlfriend power called Dream Fasting. Jen and Kira are able to share thoughts and feelings without even having to speak. Which, nicely really, is kind of the in-game explanation of why uh, Jen and Kira kind of act um, collectively when we give them a card. Can I talk to Fizzgig? Oh yes, I remember. So, I keep mistyping Fizzgig. Yes, that's just where Fizzgig growls at us. Um, uh, but I was thinking, yes, so last time I was thinking about sending Fizzgig to kind of get through the bars. And the game asks us where does Jen want to send him, which to me says that that might be possible. It's, at least it's certainly been thought about by, uh, by the design and programming, so... Uh, but how do we so we can only use two word phrases um, usually it's verb noun um, physical bars physical bars she doesn't know how to physical um, send Oh, okay, let's go use that. Um, send Kira. No. Okay, so it doesn't respond to either of those, but it does respond to sending Fizzgeek, which is interesting. Okay, I'll, um... Can I loosen a bar? Right, touch the bars. Nothing unusual happens. Alright, can I listen? Uh, can I listen to the face? Uh, or the bars? Or the ravine? Can I smell the ravine? Yick, can I smell the face, you know. Can I smell Fizzgig? That's whiskey. Yick. Uh, can I taste the ravine? Yeah, cool. Um, so, hang on. so there's look eyes. Oh, look eye? Oh, that was nonsense. Look, nose. Gents know what a nose is. Look, mouth. The teeth of the stone monster are actually little bars of a gate. So what if I refer to it as a gate? So open gate. Um, break gate. Okay, can I force the gate? Can I go gate? Don't care it won't fit through the bars. So can I say send fizz gig? Fizz gig. Where does Jen want to send him to gate? is not how to do. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's sort of set up and string doesn't work, does it? Okay, well I uh have I have prepared for this eventuality. So failing uh us being able to work it out ourselves. Uh, I was doing a bit of research in between sessions. Um 
I was going to turn to a walkthrough, but I mean, uh, so an interesting feature of, of playing this game and playing it in little chunks uh, weekly as I am um, is I seem to be turning up quite a lot of interesting stuff between sessions. And what I found this time is um, a rather delightful scan of a publication called Wits Notes, um, which was contemporary to the release of the game and uh, appears to be like a publication for providing a hint system for these kinds of games, which uh, I mean, it's not a publication I knew about before, but um, it looks wonderful. Um, and it's certainly one that I will um, go through in detail after we've finished the game uh, to see if there's anything uh, mentioned here that I've missed that people knew about at the time, because that would be that'd be good to know about and update people on. Um, but uh, that is, is so. Its main the main body of it. It's quite a short little pamphlet. The main body of it is a series of hints presented as questions, um, with a series of um, answers to those questions. Um, presumably, um, hints getting more specific as they go down the list. Uh, but written in a simple cipher, so you have to do a simple substitution cipher to um, work out the answer. But it kind of means that your eye is unlikely to immediately um, uh, read it as you sort of scan through looking for the part that you're interested in. So uh, according to this anyway, we're well over halfway through the game in terms of uh, scenarios that you find yourself in that need a, a solution. Um, but there might be uh, there might be uh, lots of empty rooms. Well, I say empty rooms. There might be a lot of uh, travel to do in between locations still that's possible although I think that might be a bit more condensed inside the castle anyway I'm, I'm good wandering off the point uh, we're um, we're in the castle and desert section of the, the guide and the question is how does Jen open the gate so uh, what I can do is uh, decode the first clue and see if that helps us Let's give that a go. Um, so, if yes, yeah, is anybody watching along and you have a suggestion, um, please do let me know again. But uh, in the meantime, I might just go quiet for a minute while I do a little bit of uh, deciphering, um, and then I'll um, I'll read you. Well, you know what? What I should do really is I'll, I'll link you to the um, the actual document. So it's it's um, hosted online. It is this. So you're welcome to read along. This is what I'm looking at. And I'm currently on page 13. There you go. So um, yeah, uh, this is page 13, it's number 4, how does Jen open the gate? I'm just going to decipher hint A. Oh, is that right? Okay, so what I've decoded is the first hint, which is there are four of them. Well, let's test that out. So, um... Uh, drop um, something we probably don't need. Don't, I don't really need the sling, to be honest. Um, and we'll just go consistently east. Okay. Uh, look, gate. These are the stone monsters, actually, the metal bars of a gate. Um, so if I go gate. Okay, that seems to be similarly locked. Well, let's just see if we can find four different. Oh, so that's going to be the same because that's the one we've. That's the one we've um, been to. So this doesn't suggest that there are two gates. Uh, uh, more than two gates. Um, which is confusing. East. 
Um, gate. Open gate. It's not. Um. We go east again. Well, that's weird, isn't it? So what if I go west from here? Is this a, one of these weird mazes? It could be, couldn't it? Um, let's go to the westerly route. No, gate. So it might just be uh, a door that's open and we can go through if we find it. Um, so that might be the puzzle, instead of us finding a clever way to unlock one. Now let's try going west again. You know, that seems to bring us to the the same two by the looks of it. Um, hmm. uh, so if we go to this one, so we're west of our starting sling gate. We can't go north, and we can't go south. What happens if we go east? Yeah, so that we get to the same spot, right? So I can't find any logic that there is more than two gates. I can't go north. If I go east, and then try and go north and south, and can I climb? Walls of Ravine are too steep to climb. Um, and then go west. I should end up back where I started. Yeah. Yeah, so that. So everything I've done seems to suggest there are just two screens, which are kind of the, the two poles of this um, this circuit around the base of the castle. Um, there's like the north the north gate and the south gate. But that's not what a clue suggests. Okay, so I'm gonna decode hint B now. Um, let's see if that gets us anywhere. Okay, uh, so hint two is only one will open, which is kind of what I assumed. Uh, I'm going to skip straight to hint C, see what that can offer. Really? Is that what this says? It says the key is in one of the gates. Which uh, would make sense. Um, but if, uh, if we're not uh, getting to all the gates that there are, I kind of need to know how to get to them, don't I? You can't. You can't do. Hmm. Uh, okay. So if you do follow in any context, you get uh, where in which direction does Gem wish to go, not just if you want to follow the um, the mystic at the start of the game. That's cool. Cool to know. All right. So I mean, I've looked at the gates in both locations. I think I can get to. Hang on. There is a difference between these two locations. 
different symbols, right? So this one is a triangle in a circle uh, above the demon's head. This is like a Y above a circle. Look upside down piece in there. So if there were two more, they'd have different symbols, but I don't know how I'd get to them. Um, I guess I can like drop pebbles. Jim drops a few pebbles. Oh, that's a, doesn't want to quite work. Um, drop shale. Cool. So let's just see if what we come back to is what we come back to. Is this one? This should be shale, right? Yeah. And you can't get no more. Um, unlock door. Door is out of. Oh, sorry. Unlock gate. Unlock gate. So it doesn't have the key for this lock. Hmm. So confused. So how. I'm pretty sure I've tried every direction you can go in, right? Okay, I'm going to decode a little more to the hint. Uh, hopefully it will tell me how I can get to the two gates that apparently aren't readily accessible. Okay, so I've deciphered this one. I'll read you all the hints so far in order. Um, as much to help me um, as for the stream. So, um, question, how does Jenna open the gate? Hint so far. There are four of them. Only one will open. The key is in one of the gates. You've got to get through the teeth. Um, which is a fizz geek thing, right? Um, can you release fizz geek? Which your bears is pretty. No, okay. I didn't mean like into the wild. He's a free creature, I think. Okay, I'm going for another hint. Because I'm still, I'm still not quite getting it. Use something small. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, you haven't told me how to find all the gates yet. Okay. This may not be as comprehensive a uh, hint system as I'd hoped. Okay, I'm going for the next clue. Okay, the first two words are send fizz gig. It says send fizz gig through the gate. Can I type that in? Send fizz gig. Because if I can, then uh, my understanding of how the pass works has uh, has No, so that didn't work. Uh, can I send physically a gate? Gate? No, okay. Alright, next in. The north gate. So, hang on, if we go. So the, I think this is the north gate. I'm just going. Should be the north gate because heading south sends you through the. So you should be able to send Fizzy from here. This is the. Oh. This is the final hint for this. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. Okay. Well, failing the hint system will turn to a walkthrough, I think. Uh, I used the key to open that gate, so... We're supposed to send Fizzgig th through the gate. Can I do send Fizzgig? Where does Jen want to send him? Through gate. Oh my goodness. 
Jenakira sent Fizzgig through the bars of the gate. Jen and Kira are in the ravine surrounding the castle. Fizzgig has disappeared through the jaws of the stone face. Uh, look. Gate. Poor Jen can act. Fizzgig comes bounding back through the bars of the mount gate with a key in his mouth. <sighs> okay. So if you send Fizzgig, you just say three. Okay. Cool. Well, let's get the slave. Let's go west. So I don't. I think it's. I think uh, it might have been mistaken to say there are four gates. I believe there are just the two. Right. So now I should be able to unlock the gate. Right. Okay. Uh, let's go gate. No cure won't fit through the bars. Uh, oh, excuse me. Open the gate. Oh! When Jen opens the gate, the door behind it automatically swings open. Jen, Kira, and Fizzgig are in the ravine surrounding the castle. Oh, we get a whole new image. That's interesting. Um, go door. Ooh, look at this. Oh, some kind of Ouroboros in the background there. Jen, Kira, and Fizzgig are in a foul smelling underground sewer system. Tunnels veer off to the east, west, and south. To the north is a door on which the image of a serpent chasing its tail has been painted. Ooh. Well, it's map time, isn't it? Cool. Well, thank you very much, Wits Notes, because they did, um, they did help us out there. Um, okay, so um, let's start drawing screens. So, if you're joining us for the, the first time this stream, this is kind of a. Uh, is that? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We got the right thing. Uh, this is a part of the um, of what we do when we play these kind of adventure games. Um, we uh, we map out. Where are we going? Um, it's kind of a so, well. I think it's kind of a necessary uh, part of these games, and I think something that was expected um, by designers of players at the time. Another fine bit of. Um, Uh, blue and orange work in the graphics here. Cool, that'll work. So, what did. Let me read that description again. Um, so, tunnels veer off to the east, west, and south, and the north is a door on which. The image of a serpent chasing its tail has been painted. Um, I can't recall that that refers to anything in particular, but that seems like the most showy, so we'll see if we can go north, shall we? Oh, that's, oh, that's how you get out. Fair enough. Makes sense. So let's just draw that on. Right, so we're heading uh, east, west, or south. Uh, let's try east. Jinkyo and Fizzgeek are alone in a sewer tunnel beneath the castle. Passages run to the east, west, and south. Okay. Um, I don't know if the may the this feels like this would be a really good candidate for uh, a proper maze section because it was. Kind of implicitly promised by the um, the manual when it described how to tackle them. So I've been kind of waiting their uh, arrival ever since. And while um, certain areas have 
required some investigation to cross. They've never really been maze-like, I would say. So this could this could be the place. We get some more of these characteristically good screens as well to look at, which is, to be honest, a, a good part of the fun for this particular game. So it says east, west, and south. Um, I will, yeah, I'll pop back to our previous screen and just check out the starting direction from each one. That might hopefully give us an idea whether it looks like we're in a maze or not. Hang on, did I? Hmm, I feel like I picked east. Did I pick east? I did, but I've drawn it on the west of my. Okay, I'll just correct that mistake. I think in my head I was thinking west. There, I'll do. Magic of magic, eh? There. Right, so we'll pop back west, so if we should see the door again, yep, yeah, cool. And then I will pop west from here and see what it looks like. Well, it is a different screen, cool. Um, Slanko Tunnel runs east and south. Oh, okay. Well, this seems like it might be a um, uh, Euclidean kind of maze, so that's a relief. I feel like as um, as one of the artists for this game, it would have been quite a satisfying experience to work on. Um, I don't know how easy graphics were to um, to implement on the Apple II, really. Um, but it was probably um, probably quite a um, a satisfying result uh, when you get something this. Um, It's nicely graphic and characterful, um, out of um, quite limited resources. There we go. Cool. So this one goes east and south. So oh, so only south is the uh, south is the only direction we haven't already been in. So that I'll, we'll follow this end. Then this probably is going to be a dead end. Um, a lost in a maze of underground sewer tunnels. The tunnels here travel to the north, east, and west. Um, did it say lost? Or, because sometimes the exact wording can be a hint as to um, whether you're in a kind of a looping area or not. Okay, so I'm going to pop some, some here. So this one says all directions. I'm not sure if I should take that um, at its word necessarily.
Cool, that works for me. Um, right, I will... Well, let's try... So if I actually, if I uh, shake it, so we're in this one. And we came this way, this way. So I want to see if we can um, get back to the place where we first entered the maze here by going east and then north. Will that work? Well, maybe. Dinky uh, and Fizzgeek are in a foul smelling underground sewer system. Tunnels veer off to the east, west, and north. To the south is a door on which the image of a circle of a tail has been painted. Oh, so that would get you out the other side of the. Um, the ravine, presumably. Cool. Well, let's hope all this geography matches up then. I think it might. Uh, and one of the interesting things about this is, um, I think as I mentioned probably the first time we streamed the game, is that there are um, the figures of the player characters are on screen for the first time or at least as far as I'm aware for the first time in these high res adventures which were uh, normally from a I guess nominally from a first person point of view um, at least the, uh, the player character was never pictured um, although uh, non-player characters who turned up from time to time were uh, but that um, gives a very different uh, feeling to the uh, the backgrounds that you get because these tunnels would seem uh, a lot samey without the very sort of careful um, compositions which vary from screen to screen um, by having characters in different poses um, in different parts of the composition. Um, it, it definitely uh, immediately feels more um, populated um, and alive while still being um, I don't know kind of a, definitely a, a distinct remove by being so static um, but there's uh, an implied sense of life anyway cool so if we were to go to the north we should get to where the other gate is right Oh no. Don't care are trying to find their way through an underground sewer system here, the tunnel runs north and south. Okay, so this doesn't quite map out. Uh, so I'm gonna move this where's this rectangle? Move this rectangle down here, say. So this is only north and south. So I wonder where the The north bit goes. It's interesting. Actually, let's uh, erase uh, this part here. Oh no 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 oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no. Let's do this thanks. This is probably one of these cases where you should be uh, bubble mapping rather than trying to grid grid map them, but I never never really seem to get on with that. So I'll, I'll persevere and see, see if I can make this work in some way. Right, so if you go... Hang on, do, have I gone the wrong way again? Command. No east is no, no, yeah, you're right, no, I went east and no, this is what this is where east is. Cool. So can I go north? Yeah, so there's one more screen between 
in the, in this middle row than there is on the left hand row, um, which is a little confusing. Okay, so I'll go back to set off again. I'm gonna pop this one in. So I need new rectangle beams. I love, uh, love how Fizzy is sort of peeping uh, very uh, cautiously over Jen's shoulder there. Lovely, that'll do this illustration there. Alright, let's keep going south and see if we can get through that second door. Can't go in that direction. Um, look, door. Serpent on the door is the Skeksis symbol of power. Skeksis myth teaches that it is seeking not to swallow its own tail, but the entire world. Hmm. A nice little bit of uh, background information there. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, because we haven't unlocked that door, we can't go through there. Um, let's just remind us what the description says about where we can go. We go off east, west and north. Um, so we know if we go to our west, we go back where we came from. But that might be good because there's an unexplored route off here, I think. So we should be back at this one, right? Yeah. Um, and then from here we can go north, east and west. So no south. Oh, oh colour. No south. But yes to west. So let's give that a go. Everybody ready? Ooh, Matic. Jinko and Fizzgig are in the sewer system. One passageway runs east, and, so and strange sounds are coming from the passageway to the south. Oh, that sounds like something, doesn't it? Um, whether we should be there or not, I'm not sure. It definitely sounds like something. Uh, so that's definitely a, that's a one-way trip, isn't it? Uh, by the looks of it. So that's uh, west and way west. Then let's, uh, let's draw this.
Oh dear. Right then. I think we should explore what's down. Oh, Skeksis? Chamberlain suddenly rushes in from the dark reaches of the sewers and grabs Kira and Fizzgig. As he runs off with them, he touches an unseen lever. On the tunnel wall, and a shower of boulders cascades from the ceiling. There's a loan in the sewer system. Uh, passage to the east has been blocked by huge boulders, and strange sounds are coming from the passageway to the south. Ooh, so we didn't even get to another screen, it just all happened. Um, look, leg? Oh. Uh, look, boulders? Was it large and appeared to be very heavy? Um, dig? Oh. Dig. He's in the shower, Jen digs in the ground for a while but finds something. Um, can I get up? Oh, sorry. Get up. Uh, oh. Go south? Oh, come on. South. Okay, you can just get up. Jen's fallen to the bottom of a huge pit. Startling several sleep in Gartham. This is a very striking screen. They eye him warily, then advance menacingly. It looks like Jen is in trouble. Well, you know what you do when you're in trouble, you play your flute. There's no time, powerful claws flash out, and Jen's captured and dragged off to the crystal chamber, where, suspended in midair, floats the dark crystal. Jen, Kira, and Fizzgig are standing beside their captors, the Skeksis, at the moment of the Great Conjunction. The light upon the three suns shines down upon the crystal chamber, the crystal turns even darker. The energy it emits is absorbed by the Skeksis. Their reign is reconfirmed forever. The evil triumphs over all. Would you like to play again? That's cool. I think that so well the yeah, that result isn't cool. The uh, the kind of end of game screen is cool. I think it's different to the one we saw before that did depicts a similar circumstance. I have to go back and check the footage, but I uh, I think we got more of a silhouetted uh, version of the Skeksis with uh, Kira and Jen captured, and I think a very similar text. Um, Alright, let's uh, let's get the right disc in the right place, and we'll we'll try that again. So I don't know if there's supposed to be a solution for the, the Gartham, um, because it said kind of before we could act, which is usually a clue that you're not supposed to be able to do anything. Um, yeah, so I thought we were going to be in a puzzle where we had to dig our way out of the bottom under the boulders, but we're not. Um, we could probably go back east. Could we go back east? Maybe. Um, let's go explore some more of that map, though. I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, 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 sorry. I did the wrong thing, sorry. Okay, so I need to put in 2B. It definitely is 2B. Let me get back here. Alrighty, well now it's a really good time for me to take a, a short break. I'll be gone for five minutes. Um, and when we come back, we will map out a bit more of uh, this uh, this maze area, which will be fun. I might zoom out a little if I can. I can. There we go. Yeah, that looks a bit better to see the flow of it there. So there's this area over here that I need kind of need to look at. I think everything else is pretty well charted. Uh, what if the Chamberlain can appear at any other point? Maybe. Yes, yeah, so I think we can go sideways from here. I guess because that's kind of at one. Yeah, so I was just, uh, thinking why there was an extra space in there, but I guess there's a tunnel that goes straight through to this point. Um, and it's a tunnel that continues along here from side to side. So it does kind of it does kind of make sense. Geographically, just not quite on a grid. 
Cool. Well, uh, yes, I'm distracting myself again. Uh, I'll be back in a minute or two. Um, I might just make myself a drink or something in the meantime. And we will carry on with our adventure. I don't know, I mean, we've got like an hour to go. If we uh, work out where we need to go, we might even, might even finish today, which would be a surprise, but let's see what happens. Back in a minute, folks. Hello, folks, I'm back. Okay, let's see if we can't get ourselves back into this castle. Um, now we know the magic words to enter. Uh, through gate, I think it was, was there? I like that the Jen and Kira image changes too. Let's let the screen out and we can go door. And at this point what I need to find map. Here we go. So I don't want to go. Let's go east from here. Let's explore that way. I think. So this says east, west, and south. So we can go further east, which would be interesting. Let's do that. Let's see how east we can go. Probably not very. Is, is what I'm thinking. Ooh, nice side view. Jen and Kira are making their way through a sewer tunnel under the castle. The tunnel extends to the west but ends abruptly to the east. Oh, like this. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's a nice way of depicting it. I, I appreciate that. Um, I need to draw that on here. So, here we go. Yes, yeah, so I think. I mean, to, to my mind, anyway, the... Oh, they're holding hands! Looks like it, anyway. Um, to my mind, uh, we're being uh, left with the uh, Chamberlain encounter as the only, the only viable solution, probably. So that seems to advance the plot. Um, which I'm only concerned about in that I don't know what to do about those Garth in, if we, uh, if we end up there again. But that's uh, I guess that's something we can we can deal with when we come to it. Cool, that'll do for that. So that's, right, so that's the terminus of that. map. So then we can go back uh, west and explore south and see where that takes us. Oh, that's a cute picture. Jen, Kira and Fizzgig are wandering through the murky sewer system beneath the castle. Tunnels run to the north and to the west. Ah, okay, so that's probably going to narrow in on, uh, on the centre again. I imagine. So that'd be a fairly, yeah, that'd be a fairly uh, symmetrical uh, use of this area.
Okay, let's go west from here. Ah, yes, it did do as I thought there. Like he nearly pulled the map apart there. Uh, lovely. So that that end, uh, that corner ends very abruptly. So the only way to go is to the tunnel where the chamberlain appears. So let's try and resolve that situation then. Okay. So we need to go west from here, I think, and then west from here. So if we um, talk, Kira, <gasps> before anything happens, Chamberlain suddenly pushes in from the dark reaches of the sewers and grabs Kira and Fizzgig. As he runs off with them, he touches an unseen lever. On the tunnel wall, a shower of boulders cascade from the ceiling. It is alone the sewer system. Passage to the east has been blocked by uh, boulders and strange towns come up from the passageway to the south. Right, so I definitely can't go east. Right, Jones Way is blocked by huge boulders. Can I listen to the sounds? Jones trains his ears, but although the sounds seem disturbingly familiar, he cannot figure out what might be making them. Can one look south? Is that what we can do? Um, can I look at the pit? Do I know there's a pit there? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game here. Um, so we can return to this point. Uh, I do wish to continue with this saving. This will be slot F, please. Um, here's the save game disk. And then let's return to disk 2B. Um, right, so I think the only thing you can do, at least as far as I can tell, is go south into the pit of Gartham. So, Jen has fallen into the bottom of a huge pit, startling several sleeping Gartham. They eye him warily, and advance menacingly. It looks like Jen is in trouble, uh, so you can't play the flute. Can, uh... What else have we got? Well, let's look at our inventory. There's no time! Powerful claws flash out, and Jen is captured and dragged off to the crystal chamber where suspended in midair, but etc. 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 Cool. I'm gonna turn back to the hints book. Now we know we've got it. Um, and I have I have some faith in it. Um, let's see if this is in here. Okay, how does Jen escape the pit? Um, yeah, with four hints. Uh, so let's, uh, um, maybe yes, yes, oh that took a long time to get going, cool, okay. I'll load us back to um, just after the boulders have fallen. And we'll just try the usual, the usual stuff. I think. Um, I, I don't think there's anything we can do to avoid being in with the Gartham. Um, and this is a story beat from the um, from the film. Try to think what happened. What does Jen do? Push through the, I think Jen pushes through the wall, right? I think so. Okay, I'll do this, and then we should need side to be in again. So let's make sure that we can do that.
Oops, got that wrong. Here we go. Right. We're south. And then... Run. Path of colour slash towards Jen, narrowly missing the top of his head and smashing a hole in the wall beside him. Oh, look at that image. Jen is in a deep pit. Okay, can I go hole? Go hole. That's beautiful. Look at that. Here we go. <gasps> Jen is perched on a precarious ledge halfway up a steep shaft. Below him is a flaming lake of fire. Floating high above him is the dark crystal. There's a ragged hole in the shaft through which fearful clattering sounds can be heard. Ooh, okay. Uh, so... I mean, this feels like a situation where you would climb, right? Oh, hello, Miss Ogre trussed up. Jen has climbed up the shaft into the Chamber of Life. Um, which I think is the place where uh, the podlings and Kira get start to get the life force sucked out of them uh, by focused energy from the crystal in the film. Um, so it doesn't. The description doesn't mention. It mentions a steep stairway leads to the east. Doesn't mention. Doesn't mention what appears to be a steep stairway leading to the down to the west as well. It certainly doesn't mention Orgra, so let's look at Orgra. Orgra has been tied up here since she was kidnapped by the Garth. She looks worn out, which per is really saying something. <laughs> Rude. Um, untie Orgra. That's the thing, right? Okay. Is Orgra going to say something? She looks like she wants to tell us something. Talk, Orgra. No time, Orgra warns Jen. Great conjunction, very near. Better hurry and find your friend. Cool. Uh, new map, maybe? Should we see? Let's just go east. East was mentioned, so that seems to... Oh, Jen's in the north-south hallway. There are cracks in the walls and ceiling to the west. Ceiling. To the west is a passage which leads to a steeply descending stairway. Oh. Uh, Jen hears the sounds of footsteps approaching from the north. Okay. Well, there's all sorts of trouble here, isn't there? All right. Jen is at the southern end of a filthy encrusted north-south hallway. There are doors to the west and to the east. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it. Uh, let's go west. As Jen darts through the doorway, he hears a group of skeksis come down the hall and go into the room directly across from him. Oh. Uh, Jen is in a dank and dusty closet. There's a doorway to the east. Uh, listen, Skeksis. Uh, Jen doesn't know what a Skeksis is. I mean, that seems like a. Uh... Oh no, I mistyped it. Skeksis. Jen can't understand what the Skeksis are arguing about. He's too far away. Okay, so what if I to go east? And then listen, Skeksis. Oh, I did it again tonight. I didn't know this is nothing unusual. So if I to go west, do I get captured? No, sorry, east. My cardinals mixed up again. Oh wow. Jen is standing in the doorway of the dining room, seated at a long table. Near a curtain covered wall are several Skeksis. Unaware of Jen's presence, they are arguing loudly with each other. Let's listen to these Skeksis, because that might help me to find Kira. Jen can't understand what the Skeksis are arguing about. He's too far away. Oh. Uh. Can I throw pebbles? At what? At Skeksis? Oh, 
Oh, it's shooting again! Uh, throw pebbles. At Skeksis. That would be suicide. Okay, well, let's just go east here. I mean east, I mean west, I mean west. Golly. So, can I go south? No, I can go north. Which direction is going to go from here? Just in a north south hallway. There are cracks in the walls and ceiling. To the west is a passage which leads to a super specific stairway. Um, so, I was. Excuse me. Was north how I got. No, so it was south. Jen is at a junction of hallways one. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely his mapping, doesn't it? Okay. Alright. I will venture to create another map. Which will take just a moment. I'm assuming I still have the luxury of time here, so I will. Oh, so that's got a bit weird. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, something's always happened with caps lock. I don't think I normally need caps lock on to uh, to type in here, but. At the moment, I might do. Yes, yeah, so it looks like you can go east and west from here. So I will try that. Um, or less west is where we came from. Oh, it is. Okay, no, so this is the start of the. Cool. This is fine. This is the start of the area. Oh, oh sorry. Climb. Alright, so we can only really go west to start with from here, so I'm going to pop that on this little map square here, and pop it over on there. Um, you know what, I'm surpri quite surprised how well the game has um, integrated some narrative beats into the, the free roaming sections. They seem to have flowed pretty well, actually. Um, kind of a very early uh, cutscene, really, when you get the kind of the, the slideshow treatment. the first Augur screen of um, really needed to draw. Um, she's very much in the kind of only one thing to do story beat panels normally. Cool. Okay, so we can only go to the west from here. No, east. Oh my goodness, I'm really, really getting them muddled up today. Okay. Cool. So, I know if I go north, I get... No, not north. So if I go south, Let's not get ahead of myself, let's just draw this one. Let's start to work it out. So I think that the way that we can see there is the way back through which we came. Uh, by the sounds of it. I'm doing a grand job with the perspective here, but never mind. That 
will certainly do. Uh, so south is where we went to get to the, um, the dining room area, I think. So let's fill that in. Well, that goes bad. Um, ah, I think we should do it. No, not, not that. 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 Where's, where's that? No. Ah, gotcha. Thanks. Oh, why are you there? That's weird. There we go. No, not there. There. There we go. Okay, so south is here, and then you've got all the way that way. So you can't go any. F yeah, so this is. Uh, if there's anything to be done here, it's um, it's to be done with the Skeksis in the dining room. So I can pop those in here as well. So this is first. Uh, let's get a um, screen here. So if you go east you get the Oh I yep but the oh. What's my brain up to today? Okay, that kind of does it for that room. Um, we go west, um, and then there's a closet on the other side. Which I think is probably only there for story reasons, rather than a, uh, uh, having kind of a game mechanical use. By the looks of it.
I'll try. Look. If we get in the right window. Look, close it. Uh, close it this way. Too. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, so nothing to do there, particularly. Go east again. So, can I hide under the table? Hide the table. So he's afraid, in case he would see him if he went to the table. Um, if I hide the chair, because that's a tall chair. I hide behind that. Uh, okay. What if I uh, sneak? Which way should I shift? What if I sneak table? No. What if I sneak rooms? Uh, what if I sneak east? What means? Sneak east. Right, east? There's a pretty case you would see him if he went to the table. Um, what if I play the flute? Cool. Oh, so guess he's done nice. Alright, I'm not, not sure what I would do there if anything at the moment, but I can go north. And then further north. So we'll record what's there, if anything. Uh, record that here. Um, let's get a reminder of what's going on here. Okay, so I'm if I'm interpreting this correctly, then this is a good opportunity to go east-west instead then, of north down as we have been. So we'll draw this, and then we'll have a look east, and we'll have a look west. Go, let's go west first of all. Oh, there's a scepter here. Oh, well, it's separately drawn an item. Janet's wandered into the throne room. A large throne sits amid the filth that coats the deserted chamber. Interesting. So I'm assuming you can only go back out the way you came. Probably. Um, oh, I did east instead of a west there. No, cool. Um, oh, we might be, I mean, it might be a trick, but we probably do need that scepter, right? So far, this um, this section is conforming to a, a nice um, three by three grid. Um, so presumably, there's only going to be one thing off to the side here. Well, that's not always the case, is it? Um, I think there might only be one thing off to the side there. I'm going to say this is one of the least inspired uh, of the uh, of the images we've seen in the game. But you know what, it, it does its job.
from doing a lackluster job myself here. Okay, well, let's get this sapped in then. Do I have to spell it? I spell it in the American style. That's fine. Ugh. If I can type. Oh, uh, get set. To... There we go. Got it. Can I look scepter now? The scepter has a small hook on one end. Interesting. That feels like it would have an application somewhere. Hmm. Let's go back east. And then further east. Oh. Just reached the east end of an east-west passage. Through a doorway at the end of the passage, you can see a narrow ramp winding its way upwards. Okay, so that is uh, leading on further east. I would assume, but we know what happens when I assume things. Just standing in the rotting floor, on the rotting floor of a deserted tower. From here, a narrow ramp winds down to the hallway below. Oh. Okay, not quite sure where we can go from there. Let's explore it a bit more. After I've drawn it. So that was east, and then this is east. From here, yeah. Can I you? No, no, let's not get caught up in all that. Let's just draw the picture. Yeah, so that. Um, Having had some uh, some lackluster corridors, this is a really nice dynamic uh, low angle view, full of uh, full of drama. So it does um, it balances out, I think, quite nicely. Oh dear, this! I'm so I'm so sorry, Jen. Uh, this is. A very crude representation of you. Can we go up? Uh, go north. Go south. Go east. Oh, uh, look, tower. Oh, doesn't appear to be anything here. Hmm, that's. Weird. Can't go west. Can I go down? Go down. Oh, go s go ramp. Sure. Ah. Uh, and I can't go north or south from here. Okay. Um. Should I then you be using the hooked scepter in the dining room? It's just feeling a bit like Cluedo, isn't it? Would 
before we get away, just type in U Scepter. So I like. I can type it like this. Um, book, chair? Um, Jim doesn't know how to hook as a verb. Use, uh, chair? No, uh, crawl. Floor. Uh, hide curtain. Jen gets behind the curtain and inches towards the sexies. When he's closer, he hears them arguing about a secret panel somewhere in the tower. He waits till no one is looking, then quickly slips out from behind the curtain and leaves the room. Jen is in the hallway. Well, that seems like it might be in the tower, which is the other. Uh, dead end that we've encountered, so let's try that. Ah ha 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 that panel there before? I don't need to go back and check on my panel is closed. Open the panel. How? With scepter. How? Um, use scepter. How? Uh, Is it going to be any detail on the panel? So just say it's closed. Just that it's closed. Um, touch panel. Jen doesn't see it here. Open panel. How? Get panel. Um, if I look wall. Oh, there's a secret panel in the wall with a small latch in it. Okay. Open latch. Latch too small for Jen's fingers. Um, I want to use the scepter, but how do I express that? Um, unhook latch. No. Uh, Use oh, scepter. How on latch with use scepter with latch. Okay, open latch. Push latch. Okay, um, hook latch. Um, hmm. I feel like we're having another send physic moment, aren't we? Um, look at the wall again. There's a secret panel in the wall with a small latch in it. Um, if I look at the scepter, 
So it has a small hook on one end. If I look hook, can I get the hook? Does that work? No. Uh, what if I hook the latch? No, I can't use that as a verb. Um, what if I t twist, twist the latch? Turn the latch. So I can't do that here. Um, open the panel. Panel um, with the latch. So move the latch. Let's just walk Jet's fingers. Use scepter. How? With latch. All right. If it could at least, if it did open latch and then ask me for a prompt. With scepter. How? Um. Hmm, I'm gonna have a little peek at the hints. Um, what is the closet for? What can you do in the dining room? How does Jen open the door in the tower? So I feel like that's where we are. We probably have what we need, right? Okay, I'm gonna have a look at hint one and see if we're on the right track. Or if you want to have a look at all this is page 14 of the hint book. Were you in the dining room? Is the first one. Second one. And the throne room. Yep. Have the scepter. Yeah, so I'm on the right track here. Okay, this is one more hint that. It's got some things in uh, in commas, so uh, presumably those are the the actual terms that you need to put in. So this might be a slightly more obscure use of uh, of language than uh, the most players might think of. Let's try open latch. No, open door. Oh. Open panel. How with scepter. How? No, so that's not that, is it? Um, We did the open door, didn't we? No, it's just outrage. Open panel. Open latch. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna decode the last hint. Um it says say Open
door. Well, that didn't work, did it? And then use hook. Okay. We do use hook. Oh, okay. Using the hook at the end of the scepter, gem falls on the latch. I guess we didn't try that. Uh, and the secret panel opens. Very dynamic advancement of that scene. Beautiful. Jen is in a tower and castle. So, uh, go door. Um, I guess that's east. Further east. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, the maze continues. Alright, let's keep drawing. Use hook. I guess I, I assumed that it would ask us to use the the name for the actual item rather than the feature of the item. But that's that's me being foolish, clearly. That means to be too rude about the programming. Um, I had tried multiple things that, that could have been accepted there if, uh, if a little little time had been spent to program them in. Cool. Uh, so Jen is at the bottom of a narrow stairway. Gazing upward, he is seized by a feeling of grave apprehension. There's an opening in the wall to the west. So I think we can only go. Um, up. Yeah. Which helps us for uh, finding our way, but uh, also a little worrying. A little worrying for Jen. She might get ourselves in another puzzly situation. Okay, well let's let's go north. Oh, uh, go up. Move north for me. Uh, go stairs. Oh my goodness! I think that they put slightly less effort into programming this part of the game. Maybe. I feel like a lot less resistance was met uh, in terminology uh, back when we were in the forest. Jen has reached the top of the narrow stairway. Strange noises are coming through an open doorway to the east. Not more strange noises. Uh, listen. Noises. Jen hears the sound of feet marching on a distant stone floor. Oh, uh, okay. Another encounter with, um... Skeksis, maybe? Which direction? Do it, is it that looks like it should be east to me, but is that? Yeah, cool. Uh, so you need to say stairs to go anywhere here. Well, let's just go. Let's just go east, right? See what happens. Oh, hang on, why am I doing the same picture again? That doesn't make sense. Okay, but let's actually go east and find out what's there. Oh, 
Oh, Jin is on. This could be the very end. Okay, Jin is on the balcony high above the crystal chamber. Skeletons have gathered in a circle beneath the dark crystal. Uh, their power ceremony, timed to coincide with the Great Conjunction, is beginning. Kira and Fizzgig are with the Skeksis. Okay, uh, this feels like it's going to be a, a crucial point, isn't it? Well, we're going to draw this, uh, this really nice image, first of all, uh, on our map. Well, uh, I'm not going to be able to do it uh, half as much justice as it deserves. Uh, so let's just get a a vague sense of what's going on in this image and go from there. Oh my goodness, that oh, sorry Joe, that went a bit wrong. Uh we'll just do the I'll do the the uh, the broader shapes will help. Just try to identify what this is. Nice selective use of colour. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess at this point they knew enough um, with their Apple II artwork to uh, to know when to um, minimise on colour to preserve clarity. Alright, let's uh, look balcony. Jen doesn't know what a balcony is. Great. Okay, uh, look. Uh, crystal. Jen is momentarily dazzled by the sight of the dark crystal suspended in the great chamber below him. Hang on, you just said Jen is on the balcony. Oh. Uh, well, look. Skeksis. Oh, there's no time for that. Gartham must starting to enter the balcony from the doorway. Uh, jump! Crystal! <gasps> Jen has landed atop the, the dark crystal, but the impact has caused him to drop the shard, which now lies precariously on the brink of the shaft beneath the crystal. Jen looks up through an open portal in the ceiling. The three suns are touching <gasps> Kira's got it. Quickly, Kira picks up the crystal shard. She's about to throw it up to Jen, but the ritual master, drawn dagger in hand, warns her, Give me shard, Gelfling, and you go in peace. Otherwise, no choice but to kill you. Does Jen want to save Kira? Oh, uh, is this a binary yes or no? Uh, no? Jen sits astride the crystal. Kira has thrown the shard up to him and he holds it in his hand. The edges of the three suns are overlapping. Okay. Um, how do we phrase this? Um, use shard? Use crystal shard? Uh, insert? Insert shard. Oh, yes. As the three suns become one, and a flood of blinding light washes over him, Jem plunges the shard deep into the wound in the crystal. <gasps> Jem has healed the wound in the crystal and restored it to its original brilliance. He is now on the floor of the crystal chamber, which is bathed in radiant light. Gartham are cracking and falling apart. The filthy walls of the castle are crumbling, revealing its original crystalline purity and beauty. The evil reign of Skeksis is over. However, Kira, stabbed at the moment of the Great Conjunction, lies in Jen's arms. The girlfriend sobs uncontrollably as he cradles her lifeless body. Um, well, they haven't the, uh, the talk people? That will not help at all. Um, talk Kira? Kira is dead. Uh, 
Look, look, people. Does that work? I'm not help at all. Uh, look, crystal. Shining crystal pours forth all the songs and of all the years it remained darkened and silent, but by itself it can't bring Kira back to life. Okay, well, are we, are we, is this Sleeping Beauty rules? Kind of? Yeah, apparently so. When Jen kisses Kira, she opens her eyes and the life that the Skeksis took from her before Jen healed the crystal is rekindled. Finally, the two Gelflings and all creatures can live peacefully together in a world to which harmony, after a thousand years of darkness, has been restored. Thanks for playing the Dark Crystal! Amazing! We did it! I had to feel I hang, I hung on a little longer than um, than usual to keep the stream going because I thought we were quite near the, the end. Well, there you go. Uh, that wasn't that. Yeah. So when when it's in full flow and you kind of have an idea of what to do, and I guess I benefited from knowledge of the film in that. Um, it goes really quickly, doesn't it? And interesting, the emphasis wasn't really on the reuniting of the the um, I can't remember what they're called now. The uh, the mystics, the mystics and the skeksis, because that didn't really happen. Um, although the um, are they called the Earth I think they are. The um, sort of unified beings um, were in the background at the end, and they're mentioned in the um, the backstory in the manual. So I guess you just kind of fill that bit in from having read the paperwork. Oh, amazing. Well, we, we did it, folks. Thank you very much for joining me, everyone who did. Um, very much appreciate your company and your viewership. Um, right, well, let's wrap this up. So, I will be uploading this. Um, I think I'm including this. I'm three streams behind uploading these to my YouTube channel. Um, but it's a good excuse now we've finished the game to, uh, to finish that series off. Um, what I will do is I will do a bit more research now we're finished, dig through that hint book as well, in case there's anything we've missed. And if there is, I'll um, I'll pop a, I'll record a little uh, debrief video as I do for some of my series and pop that up on my YouTube channel as well. So if you want to see the rest of this series, if you want to see other Let's Plays by me, um, I've done two more of these high-res adventures. I've done Mystery House and Wisdom the Princess. They're both uh, fully uploaded to my YouTube channel. There's a link to that in my Twitch bio. Uh, it's Cat Sequences also on YouTube. And uh, you can find lots of other Let's Plays there actually. Adventure games, RPGs, um, the odd puzzle game, um, all sorts of things. Um, so feel free to take a look over there and to follow me both on YouTube and on Twitch. And uh, until next time, which I think will be next week. Yeah, let's say next week. Until next week, take care. Goodbye, everybody.